Alright guys, I'm here again about to give you a tutorial on how to flash a light on drive, Philips light on. Um, I've already got it disassembled right over here. Still using the little Skype thing because I'm lazy. Um, this one happens to be a 16D2S. Let's see if you can see that. No focus. Yeah, well, won't focus, but. Uh, Alright, it's a 16 D2S. Um, it's 3 in the morning, I'm kind of tired. I haven't flashed one of these light on drives in a while. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and give you the tutorial and troubleshoot anything that, any errors that arise. Hopefully nothing arises, but let's see. It's pretty simple. First of all, you want to go ahead and have your X360 USB. I have the X360 USB Pro version 2, so I don't have like I don't need a CK3. Um, everything is connected to the wall, um, and pretty much what I'm going to be doing is taking the key out of this drive and then passing it over to this drive, which is the exact same kind of model drive. Um, I literally could just you know unsolder the PCB boards and switch them, but I decided I was going to make a tutorial on light on drives and just do it this way anyways. So, uh, first thing you're going to want to do is open up your jungle flasher. So, let's find that. Here it is. Oh, no. All right. First thing you want to do is power it on. There. Now, let's go ahead and open up jungle flasher. And there it is. Run it as administrator, like always. Change my laptop's power to um, high performance because it's running shitty. Okay, it okay, doesn't matter. All right. Now, what you're going to want to do is head on over to your DVD key 32 right over here, that tab. There it is. And for you, it's probably going to say not found as well on DVD key. And let's see if I remember how to do this correctly. Um, everything should be set. If you're using the 360 USB Pro, then um, your I.O. port is going to be uh, 0 by 0, 0, 0, 0. Um, after all that's done, you're going to want to go ahead and hit fat key. And to resend the command, and you should click yes, press and hold probe, re cable button on the probe MPX01, then release cable button, press skip. Okay, so um, I guess this is the most complicated part, one of the most complicated parts, which isn't even very complicated. But what you're going to want to do is go ahead and grab your little um, probe 3 right over here. And when you have a probe 3, you're going to have it connect to this cable with this button right here. Okay, and what you're going to want to do is probe a certain point that's called um, MPX01. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can get the, the point on camera. Um, yeah, should be... Let me see if I can. Should be that one. This one, all the way to the very right from my angles. Um, that one right there. Let me see if I can get any closer.
I really wish the camera would focus well, but anyways, MPX01 right there. It is um labeled, by the way, so all you gotta do is search for the point, look for it. It's right next to the chip right there. So once you have the point, you're gonna want to Go ahead, I'm actually going to put it down. Let me see if I can get a good angle over here. Uh, okay. So, you're going to want to go ahead and probe it. And to do that, um, you're going to want to go ahead and hit the button, put the point, or probe the point, the little point that I just showed you, Release the button, so now the light is on, and then you're going to hit yes. And then the extract is complete, complete. and it says to continue, you must ensure probe is removed, power off drive, wait five seconds. Okay, so pretty much grab the little button, turn it off, take the probe off, wait about five seconds, one, two, three, four, five, and go ahead and release the button and hit okay. And you are done. So now you have your key. And for me, I'm going to save my key somewhere important because that's what I need. So, old plus key, and this is the key. Then it saves the inquiry and the identif identify the serial dummy. Okay, so after that, it says light on firmware loaded, source buffer. Do you wish to auto load? Uh, light on LT plus no because in this case I'm not gonna go ahead and um, um, make it a uh, uh, or not flash it with um, LT plus firmware but if you wanted to from this point on you just go ahead and click on open target firmware okay, let me actually show you I'll go ahead and show you so. So yeah, you just go to your firmware, um, firmware, what was this, 02510C, so, I can't see it, did I pass it, oh, there it is. So you pretty much just load it like that, um, spoof. So now you got the two uh, DVD keys matching. And after that, you know what? Let me see. Yeah, so you got the two DVD keys matching. And I guess I might as well go ahead and just um, flash it to LT+. Plus. I mean, this, this drive is pretty useless. I might buy a new... Um, you um laser for it later but for it right now it's pretty late it's pretty useless so then after that you don't want to go back to dvd key 32 um you want to actually go back to mtk flash 32 and after you do that hold on let me see uh, there we go so um you just want to go ahead and hit the refresh button right here uh should refresh everything uh, the DVD key should now be ver verified. Um, once you're done with that, you're going to want to go ahead and click on light on erase. And it says, are you sure you're 100% um, sure you want to, uh, you have the correct drive key? This command will completely erase your drive firmware. Do you wish to proceed? Um, yes. Okay, when the erase is complete, vendor intro will be sent, power drive off, then on in quick succession once. The drive uh, should return status 0 times uh, 72 and a good device ID. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. So, little dots go at the bottom, I'm um, going to go ahead and power on and off the drive, so you just hit the button, release the button, and it worked. So, over here now you have um, the type the serial flash with status 0 times 72, which that's good. Um, that means we're on the right track, and your drive is in the vendor mode. Um, after that, just go ahead and 
double check that everything is, you know, the right thing. Model is fine. Revision fine. Firmware type fine. Um, make sure that uh, your DVD key is correct. And I just that one more time. And, uh, everything should be good. So after that, go ahead and hit right. And it starts writing to bank zero, bank one, bank two, bank three, almost done. Yeah, I've been I've been needing to uh, make another um, tutorial video. Uh, my goal is to actually make a tutorial video on all the fat drives for you guys. But um, last time I made one it was a while ago. It, I don't know. I have just been busy. Sorry, guys. But uh, you know how it is, life. <laughs> but I finally get time. It's three thirty in the morning. I'm half tired, and I'm doing this. Mm, it's almost done. Right, verify failed. Shit, that's not good. See, I told you there's probably going to be some little hiccups along the way, so let's find out what's going on. Um, okay, so we got our DVD keys. What am I missing? Good. There shouldn't be a reason. There should. So let's. Yeah, it looks like this drive is actually having a couple hiccups along the way with uh, reading the banks. It's not good. If it fails one more time, I'm going to go ahead and try... Um, yeah, right verify it failed. You're gonna get to bank two. Let's try something else. Let's try loading up just stock firmware. I want that. There it is. Target source. Okay, let's go ahead and hit the light on erase button. Oh no, you know what? I have a better idea. As soon as it stops being slow. Things wouldn't go very smoothly at 3.30 in the morning. The world is just trying to get me to not go to sleep. Now I got my jungle flasher not responding. It's great.
Okay. So, pretty much now, um, the drive should be braked. That's what happens when your drive gets braked. I'll show you how to actually get out of or fix that. Let's see. Yep. As you can see, I'm hit. I'm hitting the eject button right now, but nothing's happening, which means the drive is technically braked. Um. Let's go ahead and try to fix that real quickly. Keep accidentally minimizing that. Watch TV for you guys. <laughs> I love how slow this fucking computer is. I need like, I need to reformat it. So I need to do. Apparently, um, Jungle Flash doesn't want to open back up, which probably means I have to restart my computer. Yeah, my computer's being all fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so I'm actually going to stop the video now, and I'll get back to you. I'm going to go ahead and restart my computer real quickly. And then when we get back, I'll show you how to unbreak your light-on drive.